Hi, my name is Chris Maduri, uh, interventional cardiologist at Piedmont Heart Institute in Atlanta, and I'm here at Napa with my good friend Dr. Michael Reardon out of Houston uh, Methodist Debakey Hospital. And Mike, as many of you may know, is uh, one of the world experts in the space of TAVR and has led many of the clinical trials in this space. And so we want to just kind of capture Mike's thoughts on what's happening. You know, Mike. More recently, we hear people give talks on the five and 10 year horizon of TAVR, but it seems much shorter. Maybe even three years is this future really coming ahead of us. So what do you expect to see in this window of time? Well, I think we're gonna see some really interesting things in the next three years. I mean, we've been through the, one of the best data collections in the world with TAVR and surgery. High risk is no longer worth talking about. TAVR is the preferred thing as far as I'm concerned as long as it's anatomically appropriate. We moved down to intermediate risk to serve TAVI trial, Chris, that we worked together on. I had the pleasure to run as the surgical PI. And we showed that it was, it, from a safety standpoint, from a survival and a stroke standpoint, the safety was excellent, both for surgery and for TAVR. They had different uh, profiles of complications, but one of the great things we've done in these trials is we've shown how well you recover your quality of life and your functional ability to live. And so if you look in the SIRTAVI trial, not only did your New York Heart Association come up quicker in TAVR, not only did your quality of life come up quicker, not only did your uh, six minute walk test improve quicker, but the things like the six minute walk test, even in a year, remain significantly better than surgery. So you have equivalent safety profiles, but a much faster recovery and more robust recovery. So where's that gonna go as we move to lower risk? Well, I actually took Sertavi and I divided it into the first half, the second half, and the continued access that we did 275 patients in. And what we saw was the mortality fell from the first half of Sertavi to the second, and then in continued access for 275 patients with a mean age of 79, the mortality was zero, zero. And the major stroke rate was 0.4%. So that's an indication of where we may be going in low risk. I expect the low risk data at the end of this year. I hope to be presenting at the ACC this year. I am pretty convinced from what I've seen as I've watched this data that it's going to be non-inferior. And it's also going to allow a much more quick, uh, robust recovery uh, for your patients. In three years, I think there'll be no risk restrictions. By 2020, I think there'll be no risk restrictions. And we'll be making decisions based on what's best for the patient, and we'll have both modalities available. Wow. Well, that's great, Mike. I think it's an exciting time, not just for us as the interventionalists, but also for the patients who often come in asking us for this type of technology. So thank you for your time here, and we appreciate you uh, at this time. And Chris, thanks for all you've done for the TAVR field. Thank you. Appreciate it.